right, so for our second to last part, uh, we're going to be building one of these arm pieces. Uh, so there's actually two of these in the assembly, but we're only going to need to build one of them. We'll just put a second copy of the part in the assembly. Uh, so if we look at the part itself, um, it's a piece of sheet metal that's basically been bent into this kind of uh, it rises and then falls again here. Uh, the whole thing is two millimeters thick um, and we've got all these various dimensions here. The corners are kind of rounded off and we'll take care of that later. Uh, also from the top view we can see that one side's been rounded off and one's got uh, what's known as a chamfer and so it's kind of squared off. It's got a 45 degree angle in both of those sides. Uh, and we do have a hole here in the top we're going to add at the end as well. Uh, so we're going to start with this profile on the side and then we're going to add a lot of these features later on. All right, so let's move over to SolidWorks uh, and we're going to create a new part. I've done this a couple times at this point. So we're going to change it to millimeters, grams, and seconds before we go any further. Um, and we're going to oh, go over and create a sketch. So I'm going to work in the front plane. Again, it doesn't really matter which one you work in. Uh, and I'm going to start by kind of approximating this kind of rise and fall. So I'm going to work with the, it looks like a lot of the dimensions are built off the top. Uh, I'm going to go over, kind of slant up, over, slant down, over. Uh, and you do want to notice they're, this side and this side are not quite even. Uh, it's 4.5 millimeters down on this side and 4 millimeters on this side because uh, this side's going to accommodate the blade. Uh, and so each arm needs to give a little bit of separation, one millimeter total, uh, to accommodate the blade. All right, so let's move back over to SolidWorks. All right, so starting at the origin point, I'm going to move over, kind of up like that. Move down and over like that. So some of you might have, if this line and this line line up exactly, you might have an extra uh, relation that shows up in here. If you do have that, I'd suggest getting rid of that now uh, rather than waiting till later. It gets a little more complicated later on. Um, and we're going to go ahead and use the smart dimension. So I'm going to start with the horizontal dimensions and then we'll worry about the vertical dimensions. So if I go back over to my drawing here. It's going to be 15, 10, 40, 10, 30. Those are the dimensions I need to keep, keep track of. All right, so back to SolidWorks. So it was 15. And then this point to this point. Make sure you're getting the horizontal distance there. So that is going to be 10. I can kind of move that out so I can see it. This dimension here was 40, and then this point to this point was again going to be 10. Again, make sure that's going to be a horizontal dimension. And the last one, oops, not a midpoint, I get the whole thing, uh, was 30. And we'll double check that. So we've got a little, yeah, so 15, 10, 40, 10, 30. All right, now the two vertical dimensions uh, from this kind of flat spot to this flat spot is four millimeters. And then from the flat spot at the top to the next flat spot is gonna be 4.5 millimeters. Uh, and then two millimeters is the thickness uh, that this whole thing is gonna be. All right, so the vertical dimension, this point to this point, make sure you get that vertical dimension, that is four. And then from here to here, that dimension was 4.5 millimeters. All right, and with that, we have the entire outline in black. Um, and so it's, that's all fully defined. Uh, so you will notice there's kind of a top and a bottom. Uh, and we could redraw uh, another line that exactly mirrors that two millimeters up, but we're going to do something else. So I'm going to select, just going to click and drag, select everything, uh, and we're going to do uh, offset entities. And so that'll let us draw another line that is two, basically two millimeters up. And so this is actually going, well, it's going down like that. 
uh, and it's 10 millimeters away from the original line. So we want to change that to 2 over here and hit OK. All right, and it's drawn a second copy of that line that's more or less uh, 2 millimeters or exactly 2 millimeters below the first one. Uh, we do need to close up the ends, so we need to put in a little line to close up this end. And then we're going to go over here on the other side, do a little line to close up that end. And so when it's closed up, you can see it kind of grays in in the middle there. And I'm going to hit OK. All right, so that's fully dimensioned. That's ready to go. We just got to figure out, we're going to extrude this. So go oh, out of insert line, going to select the sketch, extrude. Uh, and if I go over to the sketch, I can see this thickness is 10 millimeters. Actually, the default is exactly what we wanted. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, so we need to do, that's the basic shape of our arm. We do need to round off some corners. Uh, so I'm going to do, uh, rather than sketch fillets like we've done before, I'm going to do some feature fillets, which is going to round off corners. All right, so over here, uh, we've got to look for fillet. All right, so I'm going to do the fillet on this top. So it's a, it's basically a five. We can see it's a, the radius is five millimeters. I'm going to round completely round off that top corner. So that's the short side of this whole thing. Over here on the short side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this corner here and hold down control, select this corner over here as well. So edge one, edge two. And then I got to go down and the radius was five millimeters. And go ahead, hit OK. And it rounds it off for us. So it rounded off, put a five millimeter radius on both of those two corners. All right, so I also have some other fillets. So these are really sharp right now, but they should be rounded uh, in our diagram. So we actually, if we look at this, uh, we've got a radius of 10 millimeters on basically all of these corners here. So that's it only is shown in there once, but all of these corners need to be rounded off. So I'm going to select the next round of corners. And so it's this here, this here. Hold down control for all these. Rotate so you can see the bottom side. And get all those edges we're going to round off on the bottom as well. All right. And I'm going to do go up here to fill it again. And I've got a bunch of things selected already. I'm going to change this to 10 millimeters and hit OK. All right. And that kind of smoothed out all of those corners there. We can see some, a nice smoother transition. This is how uh, a piece of sheet metal that we basically stamped. Uh, and so we don't get perfectly sharp corners under that. We're going to get kind of rounded corners. All right, so next up on this side, it wasn't quite a fillet. It's called a chamfer instead. And so to do that, we just do this and we change from fillet to chamfer. Items to chamfer. All right, so I do have to select the corners again. So I'm going to select this corner here and this corner here. <laughs> Make sure you hold down control to get both of those. Uh, and we do an angle and a depth to all of this. Uh, so the angle was 45 degrees. So there's a 45 degree angle there and the depth was actually two millimeters. All right, so I'm going to change this to two and leave this at the default 45 degrees. So if I go ahead, hit OK, there we go. It kind of squared off those two corners. All right, last piece, I need to add a hole over here. So I'm going to do another sketch and I'm going to select this front surface here. I'm going to use my view to zoom in, make sure I've got a nice square view of that. 
All right, I'm going to take a circle. I'm just going to draw a circle in here. <coughs> All right, so with this, we need to give the circle uh, a diameter of five millimeters. Uh, and I also need to center it uh, with kind of the end of that as well. Let's go back over here. All right, so if I do smart dimension, click on this, diameter is going to be five millimeters. All right, and then center to here, that's going to be five. That'll center it vertically. And if I do here to here, let's go here, there we go. That should be five as well. It'll center it kind of horizontally, line it up with the existing rounded off corner there. Um, and that's fully defined. So I'm going to exit my sketch. I'm going to go over to features and go to extruded cut. All right, and kind of rotate this around. It's going to cut all the way through. Yeah, that's fine. Hit OK. All right. So I'll go back over here. I'm going to look at the isometric view. And that looks like what we are expecting. It looks exactly like this over here. So that's all we have for that. Go ahead and make sure you save your part. This one I'm going to call the arm part. And we're all set for this video. Thank you for watching.